Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a video about my one year review and 23,000 miles on my 2022 Ford Maverick. Let's go ahead and start the video. All right, one of the benefits I've enjoyed so far with driving the Maverick, um, yes, I didn't get the hybrid. I got the EcoBoost because I wanted the all wheel drive. Um, the EcoBoost still gets really good gas mileage as far as I'm concerned. Lifetime average on this, and now I run 87 octane. Uh, lifetime so far for the year I've had the truck, I've had it at about 26 and a half miles per gallon. That's running a full year at 87 octane, all conditions, you know, and obviously and I'm going off the dashboard. I'm not doing any hand calculations or anything like that. My best mileage has been I did a road trip of about 1,100 miles round trip, all highway, um, very little stopping, you know, stopped long enough to go to the bathroom, whatever you do on a road trip, fill up the tank once. I averaged 31 miles per gallon. That's pretty good for a 250 horsepower, 277 foot pounds of torque little truck, you know. Yes, the uh, hybrid probably would do better, but I wanted all wheel drive and unfortunately they didn't have that for the hybrid. Uh, my worst gas mileage, winter time, running snow tires, you know, colder temperatures, still with 87 octane, I was getting about 20 half, 24 and a half miles per gallon. Not bad. My Kia Sportage I had before this used to get 24 on average, and that was all year long. Now that would drop down to 21 miles per gallon in the winter. I can tow my 1500 pound camper with this truck and get 21 miles per gallon still, which is great. So one of the big benefits I've liked so far having the Maverick is that I've been able to get really good gas mileage. And again, you can get better gas mileage with a smaller car, you get better gas mileage with a hybrid, whatever. As far as I'm concerned, one of the benefits of this so far has been having better gas mileage, especially with the prices being up a lot higher now. Now, speaking of being on a road trip too, this thing handles really well on the highway. It doesn't obviously act like a truck because it's a unibody. It's not a you know body on frame like your typical truck, which is nice. I like that part of it. I didn't need the body on frame. I didn't need the heavy duty. I needed to be able to comfortably drive to work every day, round trip 80 miles, and do road trips with my wife and I, my family, whatever, pulling the camper to go where we're gonna go and still get the good gas mileage and still be able to use it like a small truck. So it's very comfortable to ride in. The interior's held up really well on it. It's been a really good vehicle for hauling stuff and family. All right, folks, we're gonna talk about some of the issues I had with the truck first. Um, biggest issue was the hood. I had an issue with the hood latch release not opening. Um, Ford took care of that. It was just a matter of the handle. When they put everything together at the factory, they didn't put enough lube on the cable and unfortunately, the hood quit working right off the bat. Now, I would say one of the other issues with the truck when I first got it, you see I had snow tires on it. Um, the stock Continental tires that came on the truck really were not good for uh, wintertime driving, especially if it got really wet and slushy. Even running like the different modes and stuff on it, the truck would kind of get a little squirrely. I do a lot of highway miles. I do a lot of driving where there's no, uh, the plows might not be out necessarily right away. Of course, I did a video on this, so, end of last middle of last winter time where I got the truck stuck um, one of the biggest issues is it doesn't really have like an all-wheel drive locker on it I kind of wish it did a lot of the SUVs and trucks I've had before have had lockers on them um, the front wheel drive would be fine but the rear wheels would not come back in to help me get out of where I was stuck so, so all in all the trucks held up really well um, I got no rips or anything on the interior nothing's cracked on it um, the exterior's held up really well too. I uh, have a couple stone chips and that's really not bad for almost 23,000 miles of driving. Drive on the highway where they salt and put stone and all kinds of stuff down in the winter and you're behind construction trucks and whatever. Two chips isn't bad for 22,000 miles. I don't like it, but say everything else so far mechanically other than that hood latch has really held up well on this truck. All right, folks, thanks for tuning into my video. Just a quick review of one year with the Maverick. Uh, plenty of Maverick videos out there. I do other stuff too on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.